Welcome back to the ADHD Mind, where I share with you interesting facts, tips, and inspirations on ADHD. Today's topic is ADHD and low self-esteem. Why do many people with ADHD have low self-esteem? Going through their whole life, struggling and constantly being misunderstood and criticized, many people with ADHD started to lose their self-confidence, believing that they are not good enough, not smart enough. Looking at people around them, they often feel so behind in their own lives in many areas, academics, career, relationships. Comparing themselves to others just make them feel more defeated and discouraged. Academics In school, people with ADHD are often very smart, but they rarely live up to their full potential, and often viewed by their parents or teachers or professors that they are just not trying hard enough. If only they could try a little harder and pay attention in class, they could do so much better. Some people end up dropping out altogether because they can't fit into the standard education system. It is not designed to make the best use of their strengths. It's more geared towards the neurotypical, which is the rest of the world. Some people with ADHD feel lost as to what they want to do with their lives. Although they have so much potential, they just don't know how to use it and let it go to waste and feeling helpless. Career Many individuals with ADHD were led to believe that they're just lazy and won't amount to anything in life. Growing up, that's the lie they continue to believe in. Some of them stop trying because they think that there's no point. It will not get better and end up being stuck in lower level jobs, not matching up with their actual abilities or potential. Others try to compensate for their lack of self-confidence by being an overachiever, doing everything as perfect as possible so they won't be perceived as being a failure by others. This might be an excellent source of motivation for individuals with ADHD, but sometimes at the cost of their own health and relationships, causing them a lot of stress and sacrifice to be able to achieve and keep up with these high standards and goals. Relationships Struggling to maintain relationships in their lives, some people with ADHD believe they are unlovable. They are so different than everyone else around them, and oftentimes they don't feel like they belong or fit in. They feel as if they live in a totally different planet, and most people don't get them. These struggles often leave individuals with ADHD feel lonely and isolated. According to statistics, the divorce rate in people with ADHD is quite high. Some of their ADHD symptoms are perceived by their loved ones as being uncaring and not emotionally invested in the relationships, or not being the responsible one, leaving their partner feeling unwanted, unheard, and neglected. And some marriages end up in heartbreaks and regrets. The person with ADHD may often beat themselves up for letting their partner down so many times and wish they could just try harder to save their relationship. The non-ADHD partners sometimes feel hopeless because no matter what they have tried to make the relationship work, nothing is helping. It often feels like their efforts just lead to nothing and they eventually give up on the relationship, leaving both sides feeling heartbroken. After facing with many failures in life, and constant negative self-talks, many people with ADHD start to believe in their own inadequacy, which gradually leads to low self-esteem and loss of self-confidence. How to overcome low self-esteem Stop comparing yourself to others. Many of us tend to do this all the time. It is a natural part of being human. We normally measure our success and competence based on how much other people have achieved because we are curious to see where we stand compared to others. However, this can lead to an unproductive cycle where you make yourself feel worse and discredit your own achievements and feel that you don't measure up. It is not really helping you in any way. Remember that each person has his own set of challenges Therefore, that would be an unfair comparison for you, because others don't face with the same challenges and circumstances as you. Recognize your own strengths. Although ADHD can make your life difficult on many levels, it also comes with a set of special gifts, such as resilience, creativity, adaptability, empathy and compassion for others. 
instead of viewing yourself as being broken, flawed, defective, and need to be fixed. Try to think of all the things you're really good at and proud of, what makes you unique and different than others. Many successful people with ADHD in the world know how to take advantage of their unique skills and talents, and that's actually one of the main reasons why they succeed in the first place. Develop skills in areas you're struggling with. Work with a coach or a therapist to help keep you on track in your personal life and work. Take courses to improve on skills that you are still struggling with. The more you practice, the better you will get at it over time. Get help from others. Get help from your family and friends. It is challenging and exhausting to be in this struggle alone. Reach out for help when you feel overwhelmed with your daily life. This in turn will also create a stronger bond between you and your family and friends. Delegate tasks where possible. If others can do a much better job than you on certain things, focus on what you can do well. Practice self-compassion. Children with ADHD often grow up facing frequent criticisms and negative feedbacks from others, and when they reach adulthood, that has become the default mode where they seem to focus more on what they did wrong or not well than what they got right. Take time to reflect on all the positive things in your life and what you have done well. Treat yourself with the same kindness and respect that you have for others. Give yourself frequent encouragement because you deserve it. Life is not easy with ADHD. Stop beating yourself up every time you fail. As long as you have tried your best, that's all you can do in any given situation. Is there anything you could relate to in this video? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more interesting facts, tips, and inspirations on ADHD.